What's poppin' everyone? You got your coach of the Chim Chargers here today for our week four battle of the APA. Where we're gonna be taking on my boy Chimpact, who's the coach of the Philadelphia Scythers. And he has a really cool team. He has Bonsley, Alolan Sandshrew, Rufflet, Deerling, Snover, and a Why Not. And we actually both made our teams, I think literally at the last minute. We just whipped up some squads, gotten called together, played each other for this uh, for this game. It's pretty casual, nice and fun. This is a pretty fun game overall too. So um, I guess looking at his team, uh, he, he brings the Snover and the Alolan Sandshrew, the Hail Core there with the Slush Rush. Definitely anticipated that because he um, he would want to outrun some of my faster mods, which hit 19 speed or 20 speed at level 5. Um, so I figured that he might want to bring like a mod like that that can naturally outrun um, those Pokemon in the Hail conditions that he has. Um, he also brings Why Not, and of course, you know, Why Not or any kind of Shadow Tag mod, it definitely... Um, influences prep in the team builder so i had to ensure that uh, my mons that would or could likely get trapped had some way of uh, you know ha had some kind of countermeasures of dealing with why not and he actually did bring the why not so i was pretty happy about that i guess in the sense that um some of my prep actually um actually uh, i guess sort of worked out in the sense that he did bring why not um i really like bonsley a lot bonsley as a pokemon i really do like a lot just because of uh, I, I don't know I, I just like bonsley but he, he did bring that, so it, it's his best answer to um, Ponyta's fire attacks. So I figured that he might want to bring that as well. I do have, um, you know, I, I do have high horsepower on my Ponyta, which can actually hit that super effectively. So he has to be careful of that, I guess. Um, the Rufflet could either be maybe Scarfed, or I, I'm I'm sort of anticipating more like a bulk up a Violite set, maybe. But um, we'll see about that. Deerling, I didn't really uh, expect too much, but just because like he, he had a Machop on his team. And I was kind of uh, sort of a little bit worried about that because Machop is a pretty good mon, has uh, some useful abilities and some nice attacks and whatnot. But he did bring Deerling, which I'm not as worried about, I guess, depending on his set. But um, we'll see about that. Why not? I think can probably have Berry Juice with uh, its it, it stuff because I think I think Berry Juice Why Not's one of the more common sets. And same for um, same for Bonzi with uh, Berry Juice Sturdy. Uh, but we'll see about that. He does have the Hail Core, so we do have to be careful. I started the team off with a Voltorb, which is Choice Scarf, just because he didn't have ground types in his draft. So I think Voltorb can full switch over everything. Plus, because I'm Choice Scarf, I'm faster than Alolan Sandshrew, even in the Hail, which is um, something incredible to note. Uh, I brought the Ponyta as well, which is a bulky, a bulky set, which has uh, Flare Blitz, High Horsepower as my two uh, main moves, which kind of hit his whole team pretty well. Overall, uh, I also have a, um, a Staryu, which is there for rapid spinning. Pretty bulky set, is, uh, I guess, also, which um, can take hits from Sandshrew and stuff. Mime Jr., which I have here with Baton Pass so that I can avoid uh, getting trapped by Why Not Shadow Tag, which is cool because I, um, I'm able to uh, run Baton Pass in this league without, of course, boosting or, I guess, passing stats and stuff. It's allowed with uh, even Substitute. I do have Sub Baton Pass on my Mime Jr., which, uh, which does have Berry Juice. Um, and some coverage moves with Technician, like Hidden Power Fire with Technician. I have a um, Nasty Plot Crow Gunk, which is a huge win condition versus his team. Vacuum Wave is something that can um, hit a lot of his team really hard. It Oko's stuff like Sandshrew because it's times for weak to the fighting type attacks. So Crow Gunk is definitely a mon that I want to save for the late game for sure. And uh, Golet, I just brought because it's a ghost type Pokemon, doesn't get trapped by Shadow Tag. And I, I, I locked it onto a Choice Scarf so that I can actually outrun everything that he has on his team that are not um, scarfed, as well as being, uh, you know, slush rush and boosted by the hail and stuff with speed. So that's going to be my team. I decided to leave with Voltorb just because, like I said, no electric uh, immunities. Let's go ahead and see what happens here, and let's get right into it. And as you can see, Chimpact will be challenging me as the GOAT, of course, so this may or may not be my first mistake. We'll find out. He leads with the Bonsly as I lead with my Voltorb, and um, turn one, I already know, like, I can go for the Volt Switch here pretty safely as he does not have any sort of immunity to it and I don't put him in berry juice range which is pretty nice as I can go ahead switch out into my star you expecting the stealth rocks to go up on my side as he does just that and I can um, turn to go for the rapid spin here to get rid of these hazards so pretty no drawback play right here going for the volt switch getting some damage on the bonsley breaking it sturdy then going for the rapid spin as he goes into his snover so we do get off a clean rapid spin here getting rid of these hazards and I have a perfectly great switching into this Pokemon which is going to be my Ponyta because Obama Snow has Earthquake but Snover does not get access to that so I can take whatever hit he has. He goes for the Energy Ball which is not going to do much damage. He does get a Spadef Drop however which doesn't really matter too much and now I'm going to predict the Bonsly to come back in here. As he switches out into Bonsly I'm going to predict that 
and go right for the high horsepower, which was obviously my best play because if I went for Flare Blitz, he would activate his Berry Juice, get back to Sturdy, and it would uh, kind of be a predicament for me there. So the high horsepower really saved me there a lot, and I can go here, or he goes here into his Sandshrew as I can switch out and go here into my Staryu as I want to be able to take any hit from this thing, whatever he goes for, and he goes for the Earthquake, which my Staryu can easily tank uh, pretty well, and um, I don't want to go for any attack here. I just kind of want to get a little bit healthier just to see what he wants to do or see what his initial reaction is. He's going to switch out of Sandshrew into his Rufflet as I go for the Recover, leading me to believe that maybe this could be a bulky of Eyelight set, maybe a more of a Spadef Rufflet that can take hits on the special side from Staryu, but he's actually his Choice Scarf, so he, he is Choice Scarf. He went right into it, goes right for the Brave Bird, and I'm barely able to live it. I went for the Toxic here because I wanted to ensure that if this was a bulk up Rufflet, I could put it on a timer and it can't set up and sort of um, stop it from that sense and the toxic was my also my answer to why not if you try to trap me with it but he is indeed a scarfed rufflet and i don't have a lot of switches to it so i'm gonna sack the star you here go down now and bring out um and i guess bring out my voltorb once again because like i said you know my scarf voltorb is faster than any potential scarf that he has so rufflet will be forced out here as he goes into his dearling Every time I have to click Volt Switch because if he goes into Why Not and traps me, Voltorb is dead and I need Voltorb for the um, the majority of the game. So he's going to go into Deerling as I go right back into Ponyta. I Volt Switch into Ponyta, which no drawback because uh, I can go for the Flare Blitz here. His Flare Blitz switchings are gone, so he does sack the Deerling, which um, I, I think was not Choice Scarf. It was a Violet, I guess he said. and um, So that's nice overall. Uh, Deerling is gone, so he's going to bring back in Rufflet. And now like I don't have a good switch, in, so I kind of had to assess what Pokemon that I really needed overall and I kind of needed everything else so I'm going to sack Ponyta here to the uh, to the Rufflet and uh, Rufflet's going to take a little bit of recoil some poison damage and whatnot going to bring back in Voltorb once again you already know and pressure him out with the Vol Switch as he brings in his Snover so now that I lost Ponyta I have to try to destroy Snover with something else as I go for the Vol Switch here I decide you know what I'm gonna go here into my Mime Jr. it is a technician set with HP fire and it has uh, berry juice as well, so whatever attack he goes for, I can heal up all the way back, which is um, pretty cool. He goes for the blizzard, which he does reveal to be choice scarfed. However, I uh, actually had the wrong item on uh, on Mime Jr., so I do knock him out. I, I should have been able to live any hit and restore back to full, but I had the wrong item here. I accidentally had uh, last week's item, but it doesn't matter because my initial plan was just going to sack this Pokemon anyways after I got rid of Snover, and I just do I, I do just that. And you know, ch I, I told Chimp, you know, I had the wrong item. I'm just going to sack it here. He's like, okay, cool, no problem. Sacked off the Mime Jr., and I can go back into Kaboom, my Voltorb, which is actually faster than... Um, Sandshrew in the hail, so that's pretty cool, but it doesn't do much damage. I'm like thinking to myself, okay, this is a bulky Sandshrew. It has to have Violet for sure. Definitely one of his Violet users, and he's going to go for the Earthquake here, and um, we'll be able to 2-hit KO my, uh, my, my Golet because I definitely need Voltorb, and I definitely need um, Krogunk. So he'll knock me out here as um, what I'm going to do now, so I, I get knocked out by the Icicle Spear. Going to go into my uh, Krogunk, best defrog, you already know. And um, and I have anticipation just because he doesn't have water type, so I don't need Draskin or anything. And I go for the vacuum wave. Anticipation reminded me, you know, he has earthquake on that thing. Don't set up or anything. Go right for that vacuum wave as I do just that. And um, then he's gonna go back into his rufflet. Here is an interesting play, right? Like he could either click uh, his flying move or he could click a normal type move. And I go into Voltorb, predicting uh, him to go for the flying type move as he does just that. If um, like he was, he was telling me he was thinking that he that if I was um, a bulkier Krogunk that I might have been able to live a return. So um, yeah, like if he had gone for a return and I stayed in, I might have been able to knock him out. Or if he went for Aerial Ace and I switched, then you know I, I would have been able to live there too. So it was like a 50-50 in that sense, the way he was explaining it. So I went for the full switch as he stayed in with Rufflet, and um, at this point now I guarantee win the game because I can just uh, I can just nasty plot here. Like, I can just nasty plot up. Even if he encores me, he doesn't have another Pokemon to switch out to. So once the encore ends, I can just knock him out. So I'm, I just boost myself up to be safe because I know how bulky Why Not can be depending on his set. So I am now guaranteed to knock out any variant of a uh, Why Not besides Focus Ash. And I'm able to KO it with a Dark Pulse and win this game 2 0. So that's going to be GG's Envy. Good game to Chimpact, of course. Be sure to check him out, everyone. Be sure to check him out. He's one of my best friends, and he's a great battler overall. And he's the greatest Jeopardy host of all time, so be sure to check him out uh, for sure. And um, yeah, that's going to be it for me. So we're currently, I think, 3-1 and one in the league right now. So we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. We have a pretty tough schedule. Like, this league is uh, this league is pretty stacked. Like, we we, we played Gypsy, of course. We played uh, Chimpact just now. We got to play, uh, I think, Gator sometimes soon, and then Joey later on. 
um, yeah, we, we got we got to play everybody. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, um, definitely. And I think that uh, I think Krogan put in. Uh, I was pretty happy about Krogan late game. It uh, it sort of shined in the end. Voltar was <laughs> just clicking Volt Switch, and then um, and then Krogan came through in the end for us. So that was really nice. Uh, but yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Let me know what you guys think, of course. And I will see you all on the next video. Peace.